Good morning! It's another week of Sundays. Got that diaper is not all. Okay, let's go get you some food. Come on. Let's go. Let's go get my guy some breakfast or something. Hey. Oh, yeah. Let's get my guy some breakfast. What does him want? Him had a big home cooked breakfast yesterday. Mommy made him an egg and cheese wrap and sausage. But I. But I ain't doing it again today. Why would you throw the diaper in the trash? I'm about to give you some medicine after you eat. You want lo mein for breakfast? Really? That's old. It's sad out. You can't eat that. Uh oh, Moana's singing. She fixed it. You are. Shut your face. Say, shut your face, boy. Oh, now he's coming. Now he want to play with us. Oh, we don't want you. Can I finish getting your boogies? You got sick baby boogies. They gooey and they nasty. Can I get them? Can I get them? I need a Q-tip for this one. This one is like a little spider web. Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning. Another weekly vlog. Another vibe. Um, quite honestly, I don't have much planned for this week. So, so if this vlog it doesn't have, oh, I'm going out this week. Maybe it has some changes of scenery. But yeah, I don't really, I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like every new start of the week, I'm just like flustered <laughs> naturally. You know, like I feel like I never really know what's going on. Let me tell you guys how last night, right? And so he was sick when Harper first got sick, but it was only like a little bit of a runny nose. Like it wasn't that bad. So I was like, oh, maybe it's just going to be super mild. Like, okay, cool. Because she wasn't that sick either. She wasn't that sick either. She just had um, like a cough for like three days. She still has a little bit of a cough still, but not like as bad as it was. Um, so I thought that he didn't get sick. But yesterday he did start coughing. So it's like messing with his sleep because he's having like cough attacks in the middle of the night. So yesterday he did good though. He slept until I want to say like four four in the morning, and he woke up. Yeah, come on. The dog barks at every single human. Like he don't know what humans look like. It's ridiculous. Basically, what happened was he was crying. Um, and he was like not even like crying, crying. It was like a whimper. So I just know he like kind of was miserable. He doesn't like being sick, whatever. Cool, I get it. So I went to get him out the crib. Um, of course, Hart was like, can you bring him right back? She cannot sleep by herself. I don't know what the heck is going on with this girl, but whatever. So I brought him in a room. We both fell back asleep for like probably like 10, 20 minutes or whatever. And I go to take him out to put him back in his crib. I slipped, okay? And like because it's so late... I'm not even really awake, so I'm not like taking big steps. I'm doing more so of like a glide action, you know what I'm saying? And I glide whatever was on the floor. I don't even know. And basically in slow motion, I bust my behind with Enzo in my arms like like a slow motion fall. And I just feel like I always am falling. Like I'm just so clumsy and my whole entire butt is going to be bruised. It, I felt it like go up my body the pain like it was it was insane oh now he's eating good um and I like cut my leg and everything because I tried to break the fall because mind you I'm holding him so like I didn't want to like fall back or fall to the side because I was right near the staircase so I had to make sure I fell a certain way that he was fine and he just looked at me like what the hell girl and went back to sleep in my arms and I was on the floor about to cry. It hurt so bad. It was like 3, 3.46 in the morning. And I bust my behind, y'all. I was like, what a freaking way to start my day. I was like, if it's not one thing, it's something, okay? Because that was a bad drawing, like a real bad drawing. And it was like pitch black because I didn't turn the lights on because obviously Enzo was asleep. So here I am just sitting in it. What? 
here I am just sitting in this dark hallway with a baby in my hands on the floor. Trying to figure out what's on the floor that made me fall. You okay? I'm so sorry you sick. Can you eat some of your pancakes so mommy can give you medicine? They don't want to talk to you. Say what's up, ladies. Mommy put on Boss Baby, your favorite show, okay? Boss Baby. That's you. You the Boss Baby. <laughs> so, Enzo has been... <laughs> you okay? You only cough when I turn the camera on. You trying to convince them you're sick? I think they get it. Um, Enzo has been obsessed with like these egg and cheese wraps. He likes them from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> you sound terrible. I'm going to give you some medicine as soon as you eat, okay? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to help him relax because he's kind of miserable. He's being his normal silly self, but he just doesn't like coughing and like the runny nose aspect of it. So once he has some breakfast, I'm going to give him some meds, cut his nails, do a little saline on him, um, and kind of see if that helps him. And then at like 12 o'clock, I'll put him in the bath to hopefully let the mucus loosen up from the tub. So, my poor baby. I hate when my babies are sick. You and Harp, I hate it when you guys are sick. It's no fun for mommy, you know that? He's being such a good boy. He's doing his treatment. I lost the piece that connects it. Yeah, it's going to help you. Come on, be a good boy. There you go. You're such a big boy, you know that? Can mommy put some saline and suck them boogies? Oh no, and suck them boogies out? Let's get that stuff. Come on. Oh, <laughs> it came right out. Oh. Oh. It coming out. Let me get him. You know mommy trying to help you, that's why you let me do it. Oh, you wanna spray some more in there? I spray some more, let me see. <coughs> let me dab it, cause it's paper towel, I don't wanna cut my guy. Let me see. <coughs> oh, there you go, get it out. Oh, you being such a beautiful big boy. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of you. You used to hate this stuff. Let me see, let's suck it out. Yeah, now mommy's going to get sick because mommy's over here breathing all of it in. Say, like, ew! You want to put some of this on your back and your chest? Let's help my guy out. Let's get my guy feeling better, you know? I can't have my guy being sick. You don't need none of this. Mmm, you smell that? Yeah, it's going to help guy. It's going to help him feel so much better. So Enzo's right here eating, <laughs> literally right next to us um and i'm gonna get started working on the uh you only need one guy don't stack them i'm gonna get started working on my little press on set while it's early here you go um okay i'm gonna make a mess okay do that i'm trying to figure out what nail for like full cover tips i want to use um the ones i wanted to use i cannot find anywhere since the last time i did my nails it's like these ones from Amazon. I like them because they're like a little bit more thin than these are prey ones. So to me, like they're a little easier not to work with. Like they're the same to work with, but hmm, poor baby. They um, you okay? They just lay on my natural nail like really easy. Like I don't really have to put much work into them. But yeah, I can't find them. So it's oh, do I, did I already shape these? I think I already have a set that I prepped because I think I was going to do my nails one time and I ended up not, so I had put them to the side. And if that's the case, I might be a genius. Right, guy? You think mommy's a genius? Because I think so, too, because this was the annoying part. So, yeah, this is a set that I had pre-prepped. So, I'm actually going to just use this set because, like, it's already done. Um, so, how you do, like, press-ons, like, at home... Amazon sells like these little kits and basically what this is it's like a stand um, and you just do this it's like little magnets and then it comes with putty and you secure the nail to the stand with putty so I'm going to show you guys as soon as I set it up obviously and that way you could just paint them designs all that 
and cure them under the light and boom, you're done. You design a set how you want and then you glue them on your nails. Oh no. <gasps> Did it not come with the putty? Do I not have any putty? All right, Asia, if you had to pivot again, once again, what would you use? I think I do have putty. I don't think, or maybe, let's not gargle our juice. You're feeling better already, huh? All right, All right so I didn't find putty. I had to order some, but I just used some like a uh, poster tape and I also buffed the nail so like the natural shine is gone. So the stands would look like that. I didn't get to finish showing you guys me making a set but it was simple anyway so whatever the battery ended up dying and I was trying to hurry up because Enzo was fussing and when it comes to like projects I like to just do them all in one go like I can't do the pause and stopping it makes me not want to finish it so I did like three coats of the pink because I wanted it to be like a show I didn't want it to be sheer um and then I um did some little red hearts on them they're not perfect but I'm only wearing these nails like for the photos it's not anything like I'm keeping on so I don't really care about that um, but they're not as pretty as I would have wanted them to be. But Enzo would not let me be great. He was climbing me, fussing, like just the whole nine. So I was like, whatever, like I'm freaking over it. I had enough. So I just finished them, put them under the lamp, um, and that was good. But let me tell you guys something. This water bottle from the container store, it has water in it right now because the usual spray bottle. Enzo knows how to pull the blinds. I just, you guys know the motto. Picking and choosing my battles. But the hair bottle i usually use when i do harper's hair um it broke i don't know how but i had to improvise this morning clearly this week i just have to improvise and pivot and think on my toes um i had this one that i got from the container store i got this for cleaning product but i was like let me just use this really quick when i tell y'all this the sprayer on this thing i mean a sprayer is a sprayer right like it's nothing that serious but the spray on Oh, I can't wait to wipe down the kitchen counter with this. Um, and like when you turn it, it like changes. You guys know, like it could shoot, it could disperse. Oh, this is a good one. It was like six dollars, but I got it because it was pretty. And I was like, if I really like her, I'm gonna buy a lot of them and label them rather than having like stuff like in the Clorox bottles and stuff. But I know the container store is expensive, but for me, like the quality is always there. Like I've never bought something from the container store and been like that was so high and not worth it. Like I've never been in that situation with them. Um, so yeah, I finished the nails, they're not perfect. See, like, I sit down and, like, here he comes. But, like, if I'm walking around the house, he don't be worried about me, it's only when I'm chilling. He's feeling a little bit better, though, from the medicine. Look, the dog's on me now. Okay, so it's like six o'clock now. Um, Enzo is sleeping, I know he doesn't feel good, so I'm not even gonna trip about it. Like, clearly, I'll be up all night with him. Um, but I just got finished filming, and we're just gonna go down. We're just gonna ignore that because oh, I'm gonna fix it because it's gonna bother me. I'm just gonna finish filming. I'm about to go take a shower because I need to wash my makeup off, I need to wash my hair, I need to shave my underarms because oh my gosh, they're so hairy. I never notice when they're hairy because I do laser. Um, but when I was just taking pictures, 
I definitely see it. I glued these nails on for the photos. They definitely were cute. Now I can't get them off. Like, some are popping off easy and some don't want to come off at all. So that is so fun for me. Do not recommend, okay? I should have bought the sticky tabs from Amazon. But luckily, I didn't, like, file my nails because I didn't want to, like, mess up my nail bed. Um, but some of them, they on, and I'm going to have to file the glue off, but it's whatever. But yeah, I'm going to go do that, um, and then I'll come back on her later. But this turned out so cute. I highly recommend if you just want to take, like, some at-home photos of you, the kids, maybe spicy, and some lingerie. Because how cute would it be if it was, like, in the corner of a wall and it cascaded on a corner? so good um i definitely think it's a cute idea and it's cheap you know like it's cheap it's effective and i only used two balloons out of each pack and i didn't even use the x's and o's so i definitely think it's a cute little thing to do at home um for holidays and stuff oh my gosh this glue is crazy i put my ring on i haven't worn my ring in a really long time um and she's so pretty but i stopped wearing her because everybody was always asking me am i engaged and it's just one day one day soon come but she's so pretty um so yeah i'm gonna go shower while the kids are sleeping oh i gotta shave my legs too oh my god Big. all right your girl is squeaky squeaky clean and just for the kids dinner it's 8 42 get up and end of the sleep soon i'm gonna go to bed soon i'm not staying up late tonight the fact that i got all my work done today and i'm running on like four hours of sleep is crazy but i was watching love island and then I swear the IT, ITV, whatever the website is, the website is called, the channel, their website be so janky. It always goes like in and out. Like one, one second I could watch 10 episodes and the next it just doesn't let me do anything. Um, but yeah, before I started getting ready to wind down and climb in bed, do some online shopping, watching these packages, they be feeling like just dusty, rusty, musty. Um, I got the kids some stuff from Old Navy. It's so funny because like when Harper was little, the only place you could get like nice baby clothes was the Gap. Um, so she always had like everything from Gap, right? But like I swear nowadays, let me know if it's just me, Old Navy has better stuff than Gap. Um, like the stuff on Old Navy is just a little bit cuter. The quality's still there and it just comes in like better materials, but I don't know. So Harper wanted this sweater for school. It's like a little cropped sweater. I kind of have re been refreshing her uniforms because her uniforms are starting to look dingy because she's been in school for what, I don't know, how many months now. Um, so I got her that. Enzo's so loud. And then I got Enzo these board shorts for vacation. Um, they're kind of big. I'm not going to lie because you guys know Enzo is very slim. So I think I'm going to have them hemmed up to like right here so that they look more proportioned on him because... He's just giving board shorts for real. I ordered him some other ones from Carter's though. I like the way the Carter's does their shorts because they're always like this length. Um, even though once I do this, you're not going to be able to see the full ombre. But it's fine. It's whatever. Um, I got a harp. This bathing suit to kind of go with those shorts. It looks like this. She outgrew all her bathing suits. Um, she's in a large now. I don't like, I don't know. The mediums are too small but she's not 10 to 12 i don't know but i got these so they could wear them together on vacation and i'll probably get harp like some orange sunglasses to go with the shorts so that'll be super cute i look so crazy with my hair pulled back but like i just can't get my eye itches um and then i got her this blue one i can already tell this one's not gonna fit her she's just at that weird point in her life where like if i was to get her the medium it's too tight and like she'll complain about it um but this large is gonna be definitely too big so it's gonna probably have to be taken in just a little bit on the size which is fine it's not a big deal i'd rather her be comfortable than like being something too small so it is what it is and then i picked enzo up this little polo shirt i thought this was so stinking cute um i want to find him some like linen shorts to wear this with i thought that would be adorbs so i got him this it also comes in like navy blue the reason i really be on old navy it's because their pajamas for babies is always really, really good. Like, the selection is really nice. Um, and they're not too expensive. Like, you know how when you be on the Gap, a thing of jammies would be like $44.99. Bro, my kid will sleep in a diaper. $45? How about no? Um, so I got him this little set right here. So they're footless footies. So it has this one with the monster, this one with trucks, and then this one that's like other monsters so super super cute i like how they be neutral but like they're still like kid like you know what i'm saying like they're not too grown 
but they're not oh my gosh red blue like primary colors like stuff like that um i got him a pair of gray sweatpants because of course he's my kid he has to have some gray sweatpants and then i got him this little panda one it comes with this shirt this shirt and then these pants so it's the three-piece set um so super super cute i don't mind these types of sets because a lot of times enzo doesn't even keep his pants on he just wears the t-shirts he was kind of at that point in his life as well he doesn't care so i don't be caring um this next one is like mail like letters or air what are these called flying airplanes airplanes i don't know whatever you know paper planes paper planes i fly like paper get high like planes you guys remember that song everybody used to say i used to look like her especially because i had the same haircut as her when that song came out but anyways i got him these little shorts with the paper planes and then the t-shirt looks like this so super super cute i just was tired of seeing him in the same pajamas um and his were getting a little small this one has the clouds and the sun on it thought i just broke my nail and then the t-shirt says here comes the sun super cute you guys see what i'm talking about like they're always like minimal and like kid like but like they're still super cute and like neutral for us millennial parents um this one looks like spaghettios to me it's neutral with these bubble letters on them and then the top is the same thing so that one's really cute and then the last one is <sighs> this one it has like rain clouds on it i don't know why i just held that so far when it rains look for rainbows when it's dark look for stars and then the little pants look like this and i was watching love island i'm on like episode 11 or 12 or something i really don't like zara i know she goes home i i want the episode to come now i don't i just she's like weird to me i don't know it's like she's so territorial over time but at the same time like when she's having the conversation with somebody else about it she tries to check herself to make it seem like well yeah we're just getting to know each other it's like she just wants to be in a secure situation so that she could keep on going to like the next episode but it's just not genuine to me i don't know that's just how i see the situation like that's the vibes that i'm getting because it's like you you could get to know other people but like other people can't like tom like girl what and like she just wants everybody to be like on her body first of all no like i i just feel like she doesn't understand the point of what they're doing in the villa i don't know that's just how i feel let me know if you guys agree i always feel bad when i only wear like one kid's name but like i really like this necklace but like i obviously can't get one that says harper because i can't wear them stacked so i've been on etsy for like the last three days trying to find a cute necklace that i could just have one necklace with both names but a lot of places only do like three names or the ones i did find that i did like they're like 18 inches like who the hell wants a necklace that's 18 inches i like mine to be like 16 so <sighs> Trust me, I'm working on it. I'm trying to find one necklace that I could get both names and call it a day. If I have to go to the jeweler, I guess that's what it has to be. But yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow because I am so freaking pooped. I could literally go to sleep right now. Let me just tell you guys how Harper is the best big sister ever. Um, when she got home, she was like, do you need to work today? Because like, she knows that I try to work on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. She was like, I only have a little bit of homework. Like, I'll watch him. So she was watching him. Like, I heard them playing in the room. I was watching them on the baby camera. Um, and she came in my room when I was filming. And she was like, can I have one of your pillows? And I was like, yeah, what's wrong? She was like, well, Enzo, Enzo is using all of my pillows because he's sleeping in my bed she put him to sleep y'all and i was like well how do you put him to sleep and she was like we lay down she's like i turned the noise machine on we watch a show on the ipad she's like and i just pat his back and he falls asleep on my chest and like then once he's asleep on the pillow she'll put like other pillows on the side of him so he doesn't like fall off the bed and then she's like well i don't know where i'm gonna lay so she'll either climb in his crib or she'll like be on the edge of the bed um so when i finished filming and i went to get him i turned the light on they were asleep in the pitch black in her bed together i cannot wait for them to like get to that point where they're like best friends um but yeah i just had to tell you guys that's a cute story because she's so helpful like i swear i ain't mad at me having this big age gap at, at first i thought i was because i thought it was gonna be like weird um but i definitely think she's a great help she, like she's still a child so she doesn't help often but she's very helpful when she needs to be which i'm really thankful for because i don't know when else i would find the time to like film and stuff if it wasn't if it wasn't for her so yeah, they took a little late nap together um so 
yeah um but i'm gonna go to bed i'm gonna call it a night i got a shot for a haul i'm so exhausted so i will see you guys tomorrow hopefully i look like a person tomorrow because right now this ain't it it ain't it uh excuse my appearance oh my god the camera's dying i'm not even gonna be here long anyways um i'm about to take the dog to the groomers let me show you guys the dog come here boy. let me see say this is before it said look a crazy mess Just we're about to take him to the groomers really quick though i'll be right back i'll show you guys what he looks like when he gets back um and then i'll come on here and talk to you guys because oh my gosh i'm having such a frantic morning already but the camera's gonna die anyway so i'll be right back i'm back first of all <laughs> Today is just one of those days where I'm like flustered as hell, as you guys can see, like just all over the place. Took the dog to the groomers. He'll probably be like two hours or so. He they usually take their jolly old time, but like whatever. I ain't mad at it. Um, I did that. I just came home and I just checked the mail. Am I the only person that feels like my mail people will not deliver my mail for like three days, and then they'll come one day and it's just a whole bunch of mail? Like it just gives me anxiety. So they dropped off my mail. The other day, I swore, I swore I was being responsible. Remember this whole thing, being mature, being a better person, yada, yada, yada. I had got a letter in the mail saying that, like, my license needed to be renewed. So I was like, let me just take care of this now before I forget because I'm busy for, like, the next couple months. And it expires, like, the day after my birthday. And I have gotten pulled over, license expired. Like, I don't pay attention to that type of stuff. So I go online, like, oh, easy peasy, they'll just send me a new license. They sent me the goddamn form to go take a picture. Who? I hate going to Penn Dot. Like I, it's like an all-day thing. Like you can never go to the DMV and be like, "Yeah, um, I won't be long." No, that's not freaking true. These are all daisies, or is it just me? I just like I feel like I'm behind on work, and like I'm not really behind on work, but I feel like in my mind I am, and that's just because. I have so many contracts I need to sign. Like, I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. But I have so many contracts to read over, sign them, get back to them, and just, like, figure out what I'm going to do with deliverables. And sometimes it just becomes, like, so much. Like, creating the content is almost, like, the easy part. But this, like, admin side of it, especially, like, because sometimes as a content creator, business could be real slow, okay? It could be, like, one sponsorship here and there every couple of weeks or so. And you're able to just kind of, like, pace yourself. And then there's other times where they're coming at you. And it's, like, if they fall directly within, like, what you stand for, you obviously want to work with these brands. Um, and a lot of the times they'll be like, oh, okay, we want to work with each other for February, Babes, it's already like the middle of February to me in my mind. Like, damn. So now I got like two weeks to push out all of this content. And I'm just looking at all the deadlines. And I'm like, why everybody got the same deadlines? Like, what the hell? Like, what's your February budget? Y'all ain't spending? I don't know, y'all. But I'm trying to make progress. Like, what is this? They need my demographic, average views, average watch time, subscriber versus not subscriber views. Okay. And my rates. Okay long time no see I just got out of the shower because I guess was having one of those days where one I didn't feel pretty I just felt like dusty two I don't know if it was because my outfit because my hair I don't know what the hell was going on but I wasn't feeling the vibe so I got a shower I didn't wash my hair um because I don't like use shampoo and conditioner all the time I just wet it so that I could like style it or something do something to it I don't know because I just looked rough today like I just looked like I didn't love myself and the fact that I went outside like that multiple times like I didn't even match and it was nice outside and I had a coat on and Uggs. Like, just had to get my life together. Just had to hit reset. My room is a freaking disgrace right now. I'm so irritated about it. So I'm about to get my room together. I didn't show you guys Puppy Boy. Come here, Puppy Boy. Come here, Puppy Boy. This is Puppy Boy's haircut. He's so cute. I got him an Eagles jersey. It cost me an arm and a leg, but it's cute nonetheless. But that's his little haircut. He looks so handsome, doesn't he? Him is so handsome. He's mad at me. So, yeah, I'm just all over the place. I'm, I'm going to take Enzo's toys out of here. He's so irritated today because he fell asleep. Come here, guy. He fell asleep at 5 o'clock. I let him sleep till 7. I woke him up. Worst decision of my life because he's been so agitated since then. So, yeah, that's my night so far. I'm going to clean, though. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys for a second. But I'm going to go clean and figure out Enzo away from my food and this guy. I got to reset, refocus, and relax. So my dinner's here. That's so exciting. I'm trying to round up all the trash because tomorrow's trash day. But I got me a Thai tea. Hey, yeah. And so why are you making all that noise? Love me 
a good Thai tea. I got me some fried spring rolls. I needed like some Asian food. I don't eat that. And I don't eat that. Um, and then I got a grilled pork chop, rice, veggies, and a fried egg, and my dipping sauce. So, oh. And I also got a Sprite, because I wanted a soda. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my dinner real quick. I'm gonna enjoy it. I don't gotta share with my kids, because they ate already. I had to get them out the way early. That's 8.50 though. That's only gonna see no time soon. So yeah, I'm gonna eat dinner. And then, I don't know. I still gotta clean. I feel so flustered, y'all. Today is just one of those days. I'm like, did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do that? Did I check this on my to-do list? And I just don't know right now. So pray for me, y'all. Pray for your home girl. What? Sorry, it's a thing your grandma and I used to do. Yeah. I we have what you didn't need to. Anyway, forget it. Moving on. Let me see the newest TikTok dance. Oh. <laughs> what is this eye thing you're doing? Wait, the tongue, the eyes, what is going on? <laughs> Did you take your school uniform out for tomorrow? Get it, girl. Get it. Get it, girl. Get it. Ooh, get it. Part. Get it. Oh, oh. Get it. Part. Get it. What's the one that you're going to fight one? The. My stomach hurt. What's that one? Oh, um. <laughs> You like a little walking dictionary okay, of TikTok dances. I don't know. Tell me what else. I know every dance song. I see. Remember, I didn't know how to do this one. Yeah, you got good at it. You used to be off beat with it. You're really into Buzz Lightyear. Also, I know this one. Uh, it goes like this. Funny day now. Um, okay, um. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wait, I know this one. Wanna see what's dirty? Mm hmm. Ooh, 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 get it hard. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're kinda out of shape there. <laughs> you need to get in the gym, girl. You have a dance for us? No, just faces to make. You like Buzz Lightyear? Oh no! Oh no! How, how did that? <laughs> she tried to get in your shot, guy. We're the junior mm. patrol at your Look at these little curls on his head. I did that. Look at these little curls in this head. I don't got no curls. I did that, both of y'all. Y'all was in my tummy. Look at your eyelashes. Look at his eyelashes. He barely got, look at puppy boys, he got none. Look at puppy boys eyelashes, oh he's a beautiful puppy boy. Look at this haircut on him, he's so pretty.
Good morning, guys. It's Thursday morning. Is it Thursday? Yeah, because I told Harper it was Wednesday. She was like, it's not Wednesday. <laughs> it's definitely Thursday. Um, I just have been watching Lightyear, the Buzz movie, um, on Disney Plus with Guy. I thought it was Harper's wedding shoes just got here. I got her shoes so that we come in. Hold on. Um, I got these from Dillard's. I don't think I've ever seen a Dillard's. Not that I know of. Um, but like when I was Googling dress shoes, this came up and it actually had a lot of options. So yeah, I got them though because I was like, they're cute. <laughs> oh my God, Puppy Boy wants to lay on my fur coat and he just knocked over everything. I'll put it down for you guys. Um, they look like this. They're just little clear shoes. They need to be wiped down. They're a little dusty, but that's okay. Just a little clear sandal, a little mini heel, and an ankle strap for her. Um, she's probably gonna complain that her feet hurt, so I'm gonna have to buy her like a secondary pair of shoes for the end of the night. I'm also thinking about getting her, like her and Enzo, like matching sweatsuits, like in a tan color, um, and Cricut letters on them basically saying like my Gigi just got married or something like that that way they could change into that like later into the reception like not too late but like when it's almost time for them to start winding down because I just know that one Enzo is going to be uncomfortable like in a suit the whole time and Harper is going to want to just move freely so I have to find them those sweatsuits though <laughs> let me tell you guys how me and Enzo took like the best freaking nap ever I was knocked out i had a dream that like my instagram got hacked into and i was having a heart attack because of work i had a whole bunch of crazy dreams i feel like if i could sleep at nighttime the way i do when i take a nap i'd be golden but anyways i got some packages while i was asleep um and then we went to get harper so that was fun harper's currently walking around the house in her wedding shoes practicing her model walk gotta let homegirl be um so yeah and i just put some chicken thighs in the air fryer because i'm starving i didn't eat yet today so i needed some food expeditiously and I'm just going to make it with some asparagus and some carrots before the asparagus goes bad. But let's see what we got in the mail. I don't want to show everything because I'm going to do like a collective haul. Um, but I want to see these sneakers really bad. So I'm going to open them on the vlog. I got a pair of new balances. These are always sold out. Not even always sold out. They sold out when they first released. And I found them on this website and I was like, gotta get them if i don't like them i just return them so it's like if you find a pair of sneakers for like retail pricing give it to me give it to me because like, i do pay resale for stuff like i don't care it's ridiculous it's unethical yes i know but i do it anyways um because like i bought a pair of new balances on goat the other day and i paid like 324 dollars i know and they retail for like 180 but i got another pair these are called i don't know but they're in the color gray beige. I got a size five and a half in men's, which is what I like my sneakers in. It's so funny because when I was younger, I liked my feet to look smaller. So I would get like a size five um, and they would be so uncomfortable. And now me being mature, I buy my right size. So I got these, they look like this. They just have like shades of gray and like this tan back here. I thought these are like a really cute spring shoe. Because of like how muted they are. Like they match my t-shirt like perfectly. I just feel like this was like a brighter pair of New Balances than my other ones. I feel like my other ones are like a darker gray. So yeah, I picked these up. They were $180. So I mean, I was like, why the hell not? Need those. Give me those. Um, and yeah, they're super, super cute. I really like this tan though. Because I feel like when I'm just looking to do something more bright than like black, I have these now. And they're going to go with a lot of stuff in my closet. Um, I also bought a dress from this store that's sold out everywhere online. And I found it at this store. It's a real random boutique in uh, St. Laurent, Canada. And I was like, yes, give it to me. Because it's very, it's very rare that I see an item. And I'm like, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. And I felt that way about this dress. And I went to literally 20 websites to carry the brand that I know of off the top of my head. Gone. Everywhere. And it had it like in a different color. But I didn't want the color. I wanted the black. So I found her, hopped on it, um, and she's here. I can't wait to open her and try her on when I do the video. Um, and then I got a package in the mail from Carter's. This is basically all stuff for Enzo. Um, Harper's like getting a little too big for Carter's. 
No, I think your stuff is coming a little bit. Um, like she could still do jammies and stuff from there, but she just likes the way that the jammies from Target fit because they're like super slender. So I just picked him up a bunch of um, like new stuff. You guys know I'm kind of like redoing his drawers because it's that time for him now that he's bigger. So I got like a onesie set. Oh, these are so big. When did my guy get this big? They look like this. Um, this was a three pack from Little Planet. I really like Little Planet stuff. Um, I've been buying their stuff since they like first opened <clears throat> that part of Carter's. But their designs are just always like cuter than Carter's. Um, I got him this panda set. It came with the striped one. And then it came with the stars one. And what else is in here? <laughs> it's so funny. I got him these swim trunks. He has already owned these. He used to wear them to swim class. Um, they look like this. Super cute. I just like how muted they are. And it is well season where we're going for the wedding. So I thought that would be adorbs. Um, and then I got him this one. It has horses on it. Tell Trudy to holla at me. Um, and the matching pants. And then I got him this onesie set. that just has a bunch of colors in it. I always try to get him one of those. Um, I don't remember what any of the stuff is. This is why, I see, I shop late at night, and I be Apple paying my life away, and I be like, what's in here? Oh, this is cute. I got him these little shorts. I thought these would be cute for him to walk around the resort in for, like, breakfast and lunch and stuff. Um, I think I got the matching t-shirts. I did. I did. I did. I did. This is also from Little Planet. I try to have all of this stuff link down below even though i'm moving pretty fast or basically it's all from carters if i don't um the matching gray t-shirt for the gray ones i thought this would be super cute with some new balances um or some crocs and then it came with a white t-shirt love that and then the green one has this one so it's like you get two matching sets and then a white top because you could wear that with either or so that was nice um i don't lie i think i've been over shopping because i just ordered stuff from cotton on and I didn't know that he had so many swim trunks because I ordered more. I got him these ones. These have seashells. Super cute. Love that. And I got him these neutral ones because anytime you find anything for a baby that's a neutral, you just have to buy it. Like, I don't care. I got him these ones. These ones are adorbs. So, yeah. And then I got him this pack of onesies. It's neutrals as well. And then this is a little... Like, I hate these plastic packs. Like... And then, like, when y'all do returns, do you send these back? Because I'd be confused. Um, oh, this feels so nice. It's so stretchy. I got him this little gray PJ set as well. I got to find him some slippers. Um, but that's another day. So, yeah, I got all of that stuff from Carter's. It is done. And it's right here. Harp's right there. Here she is in all her glory. Nice and colorful. Nice and healthy. When I eat my lunch. I had a taste of the chicken when I was cutting those up in. Mm, so damn good. All right, I'll be right back though. So currently it is February 9, 11.01. Well, it's basically 11 o'clock. But um, me and my mom are just chilling. I would show her. I would show her. <laughs> talk like this. So I would show her, but... She has a bra on. She looks a mess. I'm not letting oh, my wow. I'm not letting my mom come on, on the website or the internet <laughs> looking crazy. Okay, we're not trying to get embarrassed up here. Wow. So, what? We're not trying to get embarrassed. You're insane. We're gonna get drawn by tomatoes. We don't wanna get drawn by tomatoes. Drawn tomatoes. Drawn tomato. But this girl, stop sucking them little teeth. I'm gonna knock him out. It is freezing cold in this room. Let me put the camera like right here so they not. It's freezing. You wasn't saying that last night when your little sweaty feet was touching me. Here, hold it so it doesn't fall. Yeah, there you go. So, um, yeah, so it's 11 04. But, I had a good day at school. It was a regular day, like a high school day. You guys know how high school days be? I'm not going to explain it, but it was a high school day. Mm -hmm. 
mom is making a list. Do you want do you want me to tell them what you're doing or is the surprise? <laughs> so my Gigi's having a wedding and my mom is doing this. I'm gonna show you. She's putting everyone's names in it. So like uh she What basically hey guys Basically, I need to wear my braces because I see who's getting kind of crooked. And it's um, also kind of yellow. <laughs> <laughs> like, who told you to be so honest? Like, I raised you to be honest, but like, not that honest. Anyways, so I'm just sitting here um, You're making. To be honest. <sighs> okay, making the name tag things on crickets. I have, I already did it. Um, basically, how I did it. I'm, the acrylic things are over there so my mom ordered like um the little acrylic slabs which are two by three and a half i thought somebody was calling me i was about to say who is this two by or three and a half by two um so the easiest way in my mind for me to do it on cricket let me show you guys was to um uh, yeah was to basically i put rectangles on the thing in the size that way it cuts the vinyl around and then I put everybody's name inside so that it then will cut the names out and I could like basically just pull the vinyl. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Like if you use your Cricut, you know what I'm saying. Rather than just cut the names and then I'm physically cutting each square, this will make it so that I could cut the squares and then just pull that vinyl off basically is what I'm trying to say. Like that's something that kind of helped me um in the long run so yeah i'm just doing that and i'm about to start making the the cow for the drink stirs that one's going to take me forever to do what like to actually make because the letters are going to be like smaller but i'm gonna go ahead and make that on design space now so that this week i could like kind of start the process i just want to start getting things out the way so that i'm not overwhelmed the closer we get to the wedding um and i also have like some signage to make and stuff like that so just trying to save money where we can little things like this they're cute they're nice to have but people will charge you an arm and a leg so if you have a cricket it's nice if you have a friend with the cricket borrow it like crickets are very foolproof i feel like once you decide to dive into them um so yeah that's all i'm doing right now and harp is keeping me company until i decide to go to bed and then no she's going to bed next no, so no. what are you playing on your ipad you are so pretty, you know uh, that? I am playing Roblox, y'all. I said you're so pretty, you know that? And you ignored me. Mm, maybe you can. Yes, I did. I just said it. Here, hold the camera so I can do what I'm doing. Guys, happy Saturday. Oh, wait, no, today's not Saturday. What the hell is wrong with me this week? I don't know the days. Today is definitely Friday. Um, Yeah, it's Friday. It's definitely Friday. It just feels like Saturday. First of all, it's so beautiful outside. It's feeling very much like F them kids and go get a drink. But that's just me though. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do that for a couple hours and then I'm going to the house. Um, but yeah, it's Friday morning. How hectic morning per usual. I hate y'all know I hate being flustered. I hate being razzle dazzle. I hate just not being in the know of what's going on because I'm so organized. I feel like the camera is a very unflattering angle right now. Because I'm so organized that when I don't have when my day doesn't work out the way I originally planned, it throws me for like a loophole. So anyways, um, originally my appointment was supposed to be for 2 p.m. today because we're going to get jaw filler and I'm so excited. Oh my God, I can't wait. Um, yeah, so my appointment was supposed to be at 2 p.m. Steph was supposed to go with me. Like it was, you know, this whole like little mini day. Um, am I supposed to be on that boulevard or this boulevard? Like I never really know the difference. I don't know, I got some silver here. Um, so yeah, it was supposed to be like a little girls mini day, go to lunch, get some filler. Well, me get some filler. And that was it, cause like it's so beautiful outside. Like this is my type of weather right here. Like when the sun is out, you could wear like a light sweatshirt. You could ditch the sweatshirt if you want to. Like I thrive in these environments. Um, oh, that's a truck. But basically, basically what had happened was I got a text and it was like, we want to confirm your, your appointment for tomorrow. For tomorrow? What are you talking about? I was like, listen, I'm a lot of things, but organized is not one of them. And I was like, my appointment was supposed to be for today. So I gave her a call. She didn't text me back. 
and she was like well mind you it's like 9 45 in the morning and i'm in the drive through line at dunkin donuts getting breakfast for the kids me and enzo right and i was like um well my appointment was supposed to be for today um i'm busy tomorrow so like what can we do she was like oh can you come in at 11 30 today girl it's 10 <laughs> and I live far from the place so I had to hurry home I had to get Enzo situated I had to make sure my sister was ready to watch Enzo I had to hurry up and get Harper dressed because I just dropped Harper off at my aunt's house with my little cousin um you know her bestest girlfriend so that they could hang out because my aunt's gonna take her to the mall with them Harper didn't go to school today because she's just been having a bad week at school you guys know me you don't want to be in school it's a toxic environment you ain't gotta go I ain't tripping about it you know um so I didn't send her to school she's just been having some problems with friends you know she's at that age and she's kind of to the point like if a friend bothers like she, i don't want to be here um so yesterday she had tried to come home early but like the nurse reached out to me and was like hey i'm just letting you know that harper has a cough but like not that like harper doesn't feel well she doesn't want to be in school type of vibes so if she would have said it differently i would have went and picked up my daughter but like she just said it like hey like she's coughing but like okay cool so anyways so i didn't send her to school today um and also my older cousin me is she really my older cousin she's older than me by a couple years um but like me and one of my cousins that were like the closest growing up um she lives in north carolina her and her kids and they came down for the weekend um and our kids are close my her son and harper and then my little cousin charlie are like besties so i was like you know what take the day off for school go see your cousin you haven't seen her in a while she was so excited that made her day so yeah that's what harp's doing so i just dropped her off there and now i'm rushing to my appointment i mean i don't need to be rushing because it says i get there 10 minutes before my appointment which is good so i could go in and fill in my documents and stuff but like i'm freaking out in my mind because like, i wanted to get cute today to hang out with my girlfriend i wanted to do my hair and i got home at 10 o'clock and i was like i got 10 minutes to straighten my hair and 10 minutes to get me a heart ready and 10 minutes to get enzo situated and everybody out the door like it just was this whole thing you know what i'm saying so yeah and i had to get gas i forgot to mention that i was on e the whole time no gas in the car just just cruising just cruising through the city no gas rushing but we're back now i got gas i just put enough gas in there to get me to where i gotta go to and then i'll assess that problem later and the kids are fine so yeah i'm on my way to my appointment though um i'm so excited to get jaw filler just because i feel like that's what i've always wanted the most um and the reason i didn't get it initially was because when i went to um lips and drips which i'm not going there today i'm going to a different place um just because you know i want to just see what's out there um but like the girls at lips and drips both air because they're like freaking amazing and i really like their approach to like let's start small before we overdo it and then you're like oh my gosh who is this person in the mirror when i initially went to lips and drips and i got like my chin filler my first visit um she was like you know let's do chin and if you feel like you still want more like that was too subtle then let's do jaw you know what i'm saying she was like if you want to do cheeks we could do she's like but let's do one at a time and let everything settle before we just go and put two to three uh syringes in your face which i really really appreciate it because i mean looking back i initially went in and i was like yeah give it all to me and you know it's it's scary when you do that because even when i got my chin done like the first couple of days i was like do i like it and then i did like it you know what i'm saying like it's all well, not my voice cracking because the road messed up philadelphia but like when you do see the filler the first couple of days it's always like did i make the right decision and you start panicking um and then you guys know my second visit when i went to go get a botox re the retouch i got lip filler which was nice um and even my lip filler it's like super super subtle but i definitely feel like i needed it as well because it was something that i felt like just my projection could be a little bit better but now that I have all of the minimal procedures that are like the more natural approach, I was like, you know what, I still want jaw done. So for jaw filler today, I'm going to Up Me. Um, they have like locations all over. I think they have like 24 locations or something like that when I was looking online. And it's, and it's cool though, because you could do like a monthly subscription and basically like the prices are lower if you opt in for like the monthly thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, they do like facials, laser, what else they do like all that type of stuff laser hair removal i think it's called like photo facials um like all that type of stuff and filler and botox and stuff so i'm going there today 
just to see what the vibes are. There's a lot of nice places in Philly that do really good filler. One of them is called this place called Skin the Street. I want to go there too, but like I don't got that much face. I don't know, but I be I be ready to try everything. But I really, really, really like lips and just like they're my girls. Like if if I know ain't nobody gonna do me wrong, is them. Um, like trust them with my life and my face, which is like you know it's crazy because that's like really scary. But they do amazing work. So we'll see how today goes. I hope it's gonna go good. I so excited to get it though just because i feel like i need it and it's just something that really bothers me and it's so funny because i was never insecure about these types of things until i started doing this for a job and not even because like people brought it up but filming yourself all day talking to a camera all day and then on top of that editing um you just see things you never saw before you see yourself from different angles you know what i'm saying like so I'm excited. I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, I'm always a little nervous going into filler and Botox, but I'm excited for jaw though, just because I feel like I need it. And I don't want anything like super, super harsh, but just something like defined, you know? Like, look me up, friend. crazy to just have you know what's so crazy it's not too much you guys ever see the place in london that does jawline filler what is it called i don't remember what it's called but it'd be looking crazy like it'd be like a sharp l like everybody looked like aliens right once i was seeing that stuff i was always so scared to get filler um and especially like jaw because i've always seen photos of like people to get it overdone and oh hold on the people there were amazing as well so lips and drifts is like closer to the city what am i gonna wipe my hands on it's closer to the city um like in philly like central philly and this place is out in ardmore um like in Mawr, if you're familiar with the area so like more out tours going towards king of prussia but it kind of just depends on what's best for you but both of the but both places like great phenomenal like i couldn't even put one above the other like the lady i had today she was super super gentle her name was ama she was super gentle um she explained everything to me and like she always gave her advice like i went in for jaw um and like jaw was comped for influencing like working with the company or whatever however i don't want you guys to think that like i'm just saying no because of that but um 
I got Shane as well because she did the draw first because when I was explaining to her how I felt about it, she was like, no, like, I understand, like, what you're saying. And I was telling her how, like, I got chin first, I got lips and all of that because I wanted to see if that kind of would solve my issue for me. Um, she was like, that sounds like a great route that you take. Like, I'm glad, like, your initial um, nurse did that because that's a great approach to it or whatever. She was like, and now that you've seen that and done all that, you decided that you still want it. Like, makes perfect sense, right? So we did the jaw first, and she was like, now, she was like, I think you should get chin. And mind you, even though I've already had my chin, um, that was like, what, like six to eight months ago, like in summertime when I got it done. So I, I do think that the filler started to go, you know, back into my body, whatever it's called, like dissolve. And she was like, I think you should get chin because even though the jaw looks great from the side profile, she took a picture for me, she was like, your chin is still like in and going like a little bit down and we want to bring it forward um so i did it i here's the thing about me when it comes to like these types of professionals i trust them like that's what they do for a living and i don't know anything about it i just know that i want to look like snatch you know what i'm saying like i know i just want to look fire from the side i'm if you tell me i need x y and z i'm gonna do it so it's so hot in this car right now it's insane so my jaw was comped um, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, but I did pay for my chin. I got two syringes in my chin this time. Um, I got the bra I got the chin tip brought out, and then I got like it placed with a cannula um, to fill out like the hollow spots, like right here. Because when we did the jaw first, because I could have just been like, yeah, give it to me the free way, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I was like, no, I completely see what you're talking about. Like I 100% agreed with her, so I did pay for my chin, and my total was. Like fourteen hundred dollars or so um so it's not cheap like did i wake up thinking i was gonna spend fourteen hundred dollars before 1 p.m no but you know shit happens so yeah i paid for that with no problem because i definitely agreed that i needed it and i love even if i just go like this i could just feel the difference like it's insane so i don't know if you guys could like tell from the side it's not super harsh it's just so so like subtle and feminine and just sweet it elongates my face it's literally i feel like it looks like how the rest of my work on my face looks like you would never know you would never look at me and be like she had a shit ton of filler and botox in her face and i do i do though but you would never be able to tell and i really really enjoy that and knowing that i went to two different places and i put like my trust in two, di two different um practices and i love my results in both i feel like it's like just great because i hear so many horror stories about people getting worked in and it's just awful and they hate it um and it looks terrible definitely didn't experience that today definitely didn't experience that my last time i went to lips and drips so if you guys are in the like Philadelphia area, well, Pennsylvania area, and you guys are looking for somewhere to go, definitely highly recommend both. I mean, they're only the th they're the only two places I've ever been, but both are amazing. Um, like I was saying, of me offers like more beauty services as well, like med spa vibes. So like, if you want like a hydrofacial and stuff like that, and lips and drips, they do like filler, Botox, and they do like IVs, which is really really cute. So if you want like a beauty IV and stuff, so kind of just depends on what you're looking for. Um, I want to say like when I looked at pricing for both, it was pretty similar. Like I think the pricing of like filler and stuff is pretty general across the board in the city. Um, like Botox being like twelve, twelve dollars. Sometimes it'll go on sale for like ten and filler always being like in the six to eight hundred dollar kind of family um but yeah i love it um it's literally you you i don't know it wasn't it wasn't bad at all pain pain level for me was like one out of ten and i know that's not going to be the case for everybody because i do think that i'm really great with pain because she was like do you want like the little vibrating tool and i was like no i'm fine i was like they gave it to me before for my lips i was like i didn't need it um i got numbed and then they she injected some extra stuff to like numb the area and like there was parts where i felt entryways or like pressure but nothing like annoying it was just like discomfort sometimes but that was like probably discomfort like 20 percent of the time like nothing like that was gonna drive me crazy I definitely love how it looks and i just feel like now i don't have like that fat right here and i was so and like i'm telling you guys this like just to be honest with you because like here's the thing I definitely feel like in my industry we're like a little more hard on ourselves because like we're putting ourselves out there all the time but i also feel like for me i never wanted to look like i had work done you know what i'm saying like i never wanted somebody to see me and be like 
damn she got a lot of stuff put in her face or like that's not what she looks like like i feel like i still look like me like i still look like the asia that started youtube years ago you know what i'm saying but my jaw just it was such the biggest insecurity for me and i always felt like i looked like i was like i was gaining too much weight because i felt like it was going here but even when i lost weight it wasn't going anywhere so like i didn't know what to do i didn't know if i should get kybella kybella is like a shot you could get to like dissolve fat i didn't know if i should get that i didn't know if i should get chin lipo like i didn't know what my options were um so i was always kind of exploring all of that stuff because <sighs> I hated it I really did like I didn't like what I saw in the mirror especially like if I turned to the side in the camera I hated it and it was just one of those things for me that like I would edit stuff out um I was really hard on myself like about my weight and stuff because I felt like that was like the main area my weight was going to and I never talked about it just because you know like I feel like when I do bring up how I feel about myself people say I'm nitpicking myself but like I don't nitpick myself on camera to be annoying I nitpick myself on camera so that I can say before somebody else does because I feel like it's more annoying when somebody feels like it's their right to nitpick me in my comment section or like my dms so in order to get ahead of that you just nitpick yourself as a as an influencer you know you like you just be like I look crazy today or I need this and I need that and even though it might not really be the reality or even though to like a viewer I might be like beautiful and wake up looking so amazing if we don't feel that way and if we don't say it somebody will make it their duty to try to make us miserable and say it for us um but you know i definitely feel like as women we always have like these areas that we're just so insecure about and if it really bothers you and it's something that's going to help you feel better about yourself you know like do it like you only live once you might as well walk like in your best confident self and honestly for me it's just like i feel so much better i used to just hate thinking about how somebody could be staring at my side and it probably was like atrocious like if a man was talking to me like you know what I'm saying like I remember even like when I was dating like Enzo's dad and like when I looked down at my phone all of this would like become this big bubble and like I swear we're like all connect I, I'm not even being dramatic y'all and I would be so insecure about it that like when I would lay in the bed with him and be on my phone I would always put like my t-shirt over my nose and like I told him I was doing that because like it just was a comfort thing for me but i was really doing it to hide my double chin y'all like these are things we do as females when something's bothering us though so yeah i really like my results though i'm so excited i can't wait for my mom to see it i'm literally tempted to go to her job and be like look what i got because now i look like my mom my mom has such a nice elongated face and i'm so ready for the wedding now because yeah get my side profile boss take my pick from the side get into all of this and she was so sweet though she was like oh my gosh she said that she thinks that i would be like a great candidate for like a little bit of cheek filler right here not much hair but just right here to pull this back um and i was like don't make me come back and do it because i will you know like and i'm not even addicted to it but it's so crazy how it really can help your self-confidence um so yeah she said like just like right here to pull my face back a little but she said i have great collagen she said my skin looks really really great um she could tell that i she could tell that i wear sunscreen a lot and stuff like that and i do take care of my skin so yeah that's a really cute nail salon they probably do like regular nail polish though and not gel but it's cute though la belle nail bar it's so like bougie out here i swear it's so cute on the main line but it's just not my type of vibe and the parking is scarce like your girl don't got time to be playing parking wars to spend my money i picked up steph i was on facetime with steph showing her my filler and she was like girl come get me so i picked up steph we picked up enzo and now we're at the mall meeting the gang just to see what they're doing and i want to go to zara anyways i've been meaning to come to zara so it works out perfectly yeah um so yeah let's shop and i think my stop at the car dealership after this to go see a car really quickly i don't know we'll see they said they were in here right yeah. look at enzo y'all he's so fake he just so excited to be outside the fact that i'm outside my jaw kind of sore now you know it will show our guts. Not them having a Chanel mini <laughs> flat thing. What's it called? <laughs> a little mini one. Where's my kid? Where's my daughter?
Just forget your mom, huh? I thought it was going to be longer on the torso. What is shit slamming? Then I'm going to go back. Like, can I get another one so I put some alcohol in it? No ice, please. Yes. This shit is good. I'm going to get brunch tomorrow. This shit is good. It's like fresh strawberry puree. That's why. Tono's hurt already in my sneakers. Oh, God. What? <laughs> I haven't done my Tono since I got back from your trip. You're so predictable. But is she really? Ah. Yes. Does she feel that? Ah. Let me see. Good job. Oh no. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, no. Let's get that tongue. Sure. Good morning, guys. I have not seen you since I was at the um the mall, and I just hung out with Stephanie like for the rest of the night. We just chilled at my house. So that was the last time you guys saw me. So you guys know I got Philly yesterday. Went to the mall. <clears throat> I did buy some stuff, but I'm going to show you guys that in a collective haul. Um, and then I went to dinner with my friends. So that was fun. Um, but it's Saturday morning and I'm getting ready to go to brunch. It's 12 o'clock. I got to be done by 1.52 o'clock. Um, so my brain's going like this. I'm about to put some loose like curls in my hair to kind of just give it like an effortless look. Um, and then I want to film a TikTok of me getting ready in my outfit so pray for me um but yeah i just wanted to come out here and talk to you guys about that before i just end up outside and hey alexa what's the weather today the current weather is 43 degrees fahrenheit with clear skies and sun today's forecast calls for more of the same with a high of 47 degrees and a low of 31 degrees would you also like tomorrow's weather i'm okay thank you so it's kind of nice outside kind of cold not really um but i'm wearing a cute little brunch fit a brunch fit you know you gotta have a brunch fit so yeah i'm wearing that um but i'm gonna go do my hair really really quickly and then i don't know i'll see you guys in a second because i'm gonna try to film tiktok your girl wants to get on tiktok i do i just don't know how to balance it um love my girl i don't know if you guys can tell the difference but like, even if i go like this i could just feel that it's elongated and it just doesn't do all the fat connecting because now since my chin and this is more like elongated it covers it absolutely love 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 it's definitely worth my $1,400 I'm still bad about it but definitely worth it um but it looks so good stop I love it though so yeah I'm gonna go get ready and then I will see you guys in a second I need some Starbucks so bad so I text Steph and I was like sis we might need to have a Starbucks date before we hit the function um and then I just realized I don't have a birthday gift for my girlfriend so I'm in here going a little cuckoo but I'll be back Hey guys, so I'm a Steph. Say hey. Hey. Uh, We're in Old City. We just parked. We found a parking spot. Oh, do we gotta pay for this parking? Mm -hmm. And we're about to go into this thing. What if nobody's in there? Like, one, nobody, a part of the group is there, and then nobody's in there. I'll stop. <laughs> like, what are the vibes giving? Um, But we're about to go inside. We're going to frame in Old City. It's like, no, just opened. So, yeah. I wear my daytime glasses that don't provide any sun protection. No UV protection. No UV what? protection included. Um, but they're cute for brunch. So yeah, I have on this white top from Zara. It's like crisscross and then the back is open. And I have on, I'll show you guys later, but I have on these jeans. This is my second pair. I bought one pair online. Lady, don't get on the car. You were a little too close for me. You should have beeped your horn. <laughs> um i bought one size they was too small i found them again in the mall yesterday i bought them and i got all my little bottegas and i borrowed harp's little purse because it matches my bottegas and sometimes outfits just call for mini bags and then i brought where's my ziploc bag okay. i brought a ziploc bag with all my stuff so i put on steph's bag because ain't nothing in my bag it's always gotta be one friend with the big bag and one friend with comfortable shoes on that's the rules, okay? Those are life rules. So yeah, I'm ready to have a drink. I had a frantic morning, but I'm not ready to drink because I ain't nothing yet. I'm not ready to drink. My tummy hurts. I didn't Sir, eat anything. Wrong yeah. season. He has on a Philly sweatshirt when it's all about the Eagles tomorrow. Cause we're going to the Super Bowl. We bring it home. Bring it home, boys. 
Can't wait to be outside climbing the poles. That's the only time I'm ever going to climb one. Not me. If time's getting rough, I'm climbing the pole. <laughs> I would be so nervous. I would have to get drunk before I ever did it. Like, if I if I did. Climb the pole? Yeah, because I, I would. Yeah, for a I would living? Or like yeah, just... for a living. I would if I really needed yeah, to. Yeah, they always drunk. Get but I would have, yeah, I would have to do some things to have that liquid courage to get on stage. Not me, it comes to me natural. <laughs> stuff is so annoying, y'all. <laughs> this is why I can't take stuff nowhere. All right, are we ready to go inside? It's in my jeans, and I ain't talking about the ones on my behind. <laughs> I didn't even have to drink yet. I thought you said you wasn't talking today. <laughs> I'm not. You said you. You said I'm not going to talk today. You already starting like what? It's because I want. She want her parlay, y'all. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post a Snapchat video right here in three, two, one. Oh, I won! Yay! All right. <laughs> now you in a good mood? I'm crying. You said out. I won. <laughs> Oh, I won! Oh. Hooray! Hooray! She hasn't seen a TikTok where we be like, hooray! <laughs> but alright, should we go in? Come on. I don't like being the first people there. Wait, I need to change my shoes. Where are you going in Adidas? <laughs> it's a dress. Oh. It's like, I don't want to wear a coat because I hate wearing coats. But like, it is kind of cool. I'm going to take UPS with my dress. Have they on no coat in these things. No, you didn't. Your box, three pairs of shorts and a pair of sunglasses. No, you return. didn't. They probably was like... The guy knows me, then. I told you. It was giving a walk of shame. I told That's you what it I was giving a walk of shame. When I took puppy boy clothes, he probably was like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? A baby lock? Sure. I put on matching lotion and perfume today. Oh, look, they're pulling out. You can fix your car. Hee 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 hee. Perfect diamond. I'm paying for this parking as we speak, so we need to get out. Okay, but you should pull up so you're not on the thing. Yeah, what he put his mask on to get in the car for? He was in the store. He ain't gonna get the vid. Oh, that's a nice mask. It looks like it hurt though. It looks like it's not tight. You want some Fenty setting spray? And oh, I didn't set my face actually. Remembrance of Rihanna tomorrow? Yeah, because we're this going to. so nice. You're going to like it. We're going to Rihanna's concert tomorrow, and Jalen mm -hmm. Hurst just so happens to be there. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it feel nice? Mm -hmm. Wait, I thought it was going to be like a farther spurt. <laughs> Let me get my nose real good. I got no powder right there. It smells nice. It smells clean. That's cute. I never saw anyone talk about that one. Baby, what it do? That's what it's called. Maybe I should get like that. Like Dewey? Baby, mm -hmm. what it do? That's definitely the one thing I didn't do was put on setting spray. I definitely cut my nose hairs today because they were so long. I'll back up for you, sir. Please hold. He can get out. Look how much room he got. Yeah, give me that spot. Baby. Don't let nobody turn their turn and signal and be like, you gotta wait, bro. Sir, you Give don't need that me, much baby. room to back out. Remember that song? What? Give it to me, baby. No. What song is that? Indep Independence all Orthodontics. The girl, all the girls say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. Du, du, du. You don't what know that song? song? Is that? Oh my gosh. Am I still on the plane? <laughs> no, you're fine like now. No. It's because it was low. You know. You know this is ancient Philadelphia back here. The sidewalks is janky. They're turning where the old Bibbles is into a complex, a condo complex. And guess who's trying to buy it? I know. I think he posted it. And it was like they wanted like some astronomical amount of money. But since he's a billionaire like Kanye was, he might just get it. Because that's what he's in his head. Child, he act like Kanye was too. Delusional. <laughs> Let's go. Are we wearing coats? Hey guys, it's the double mint twins with our matching minks. And we outside. It's kind of cold today. It was it was so nice yesterday. Wasn't it bamboozled? Ooh, it's kind of freezing actually. Brr. I found a hundred dollar bill in my coat. Brr. Brr. <laughs> you gotta get my fit because last time you didn't get me. What? Last time when I was cute, you didn't get me. You don't ever want to be really in it. Is it this way or this way? I think it's this way. I think it's this way. <laughs> Do we look like obnoxious humans? Because, first of all, y'all, look at the coats. What is Kanye West about his mink dragon on the floor? 
tell Peter my mick dragging on the floor. What are you going to tell me with two people? Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even get to think about it. I didn't know what I was gonna say either. A uh, ussy, it's a ussy. <laughs> yeah, I just steal his joke. What do you call a it's selfie okay. with two people? A uh, ussy. All right, guys, we're about to enter. Cue the montage. Cue the vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. We need good vibes. Banging breakfast a wild brunch. This one I bet you will be that I know get time that Frozen trees. When it comes to money, I they concentrate. We got the streets, you are not my mate. If you become a shame, I'll be head of state. But my people then go say, I don't want to I don't want to die. I don't want to I want to enjoy. I want to chop life. I want to buy motor. I want to build house. I still want to know. kids is in here thing one thing two <gasps> i got some mail so let's open it even though it's the posters for the kids room yes i finally got around to doing that i guess i was overthinking the last one i was like let me just put something on this daggone thing because i cannot stare at these empties i can't stare at these empty um these empty picture frames anymore so i ordered them i got these from cbs photo I got them delivered because I'm lazy. Oh, this one's so cute. Look at this. Not Asia made that though. Should I put my signature on the back? And this was the other one. These are giving very much professional. Did it on Canva, baby. Got to print it. This is the other one. Wow, this looks so stinking cute. These actually look better than I thought they were. And let's go put these in the kids room and let's see what the final product looks like because this is a long, long overdue project. Um, I, it's going to look like a whole new room having come in a ball. So let's go. Okay, pictures are up and it looks just like how I had it on PicMonkey. I will put the inspo pic 
hair for you guys and this is real life in it um so you guys know i made all of these the only thing that's bothering me with these little ones is they were the exact measurements of these small ones um but they cut them too short so i just used like the back paper that was already in the frame behind them it's not super noticeable but it's bothering me so like bro get out of here um but it is bothering me so either i'm gonna reorder them from somewhere else or I'm gonna trim them on the sides as well. That way it looks like framed and you put like some better paper behind it. Um, but the big ones came out perfectly. They're so cute. And you guys know that little neon sign, it does light up, but we just never turn it on unless we plug it in. So, yeah. Enzo, hush, bud. It's so noisy when you're sleepy. Um, so yeah, this is what it's looking like in here. And it just adds the perfect amount of color to the room. But everything else is pretty neutral aside from like little bits and bobs everywhere. But this definitely just grounds the room and makes it a kid's space. Super cute though, super modern, super preppy. Excuse Enzo, he, he's delirious. You're going to bed. What are you doing? You're in the book show. Yeah, your dad needs to hurry up and call you so you could go to bed. He said he just got home from his game. Um, he won't win. He already had his game. So, yeah, that's what that's looking like. So, that's a little room update. And now we're done in here. It took me long enough. I found a hair clip and I put it. But, yeah, I'm home now. I'm all fresh and clean. I'm about to put Enzo to bed um, after he talks to his dad. And then I'm going to edit this vlog for you guys and get it up for you guys tomorrow. I have a headache, but... That's whatever. I know I have a headache from um, mimosas and stuff. The books don't go in the ball pit. And stop throwing books at my daughter. Delirious right now. Like, delirious. Um, but yeah, I love the way my little project came out. I definitely feel like it's super cute. It's super kid friendly. So, child, I'm gonna just end the vlog right here. I hope you guys have fun hanging out with me this week. I love you guys. Oh, arms up. Arms up. Um, Enzo threw up. It's like y'all don't know that I don't like loud sounds. Enzo threw up. That was fun. I cleaned it up. You look crazy. He was beating me up. Look at your hair. You look crazy. He was beating me up. Um, he wants you to read the hey, Read me some Junie B. Jones. Enzo. Inside voices, bro. Um, it's outside voices. Clearly. Now you know he just threw up. I'm gonna put my kids to sleep, and I'm gonna go edit this vlog for you guys. I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're here. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Feel y'all comment, all that good stuff, all that amazing stuff, all that fun stuff. Help me so I can help you. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week. I love you guys so much. Thank you for spending a week with us. Give it some kisses. Give me some Say mouth kisses. Mm -hmm. Enzo's ignoring us. Per usual, but it's okay. <laughs>